Good morning and good afternoon, depending on where you are. How you doing there, Caleb? Three car collectors. Nice to see you in the stream early this morning. Hopefully you're having a great day there in Texas. Gonna get ready to have some fun today. Today is 1986 Tops. Kevin's card collecting and more. Good morning. I think I remember you saying, if I, correct me if I'm wrong, that this 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 is one of your first sets that you collected when you were back in your early collecting days. From what I remember you mentioning, so I'm sure you were looking forward to this one. Chuck is in the house. How you doing there, Chuck? Sports lines here. Huber's trick shots. Hey, Mr. Donald. Wow, we got a bunch of people jumping in pretty quick here this morning. Really do appreciate everybody that's here today. We're going to have some fun today. It is a nice rainy day here in, in Seattle. <laughs> it is a very rainy day here in Seattle. Do me a favor when you come in here. Give me the thumbs up. Thumbs up, please. Started collecting in 1986. I have a special affinity for this set. That is very cool, Kevin. That is very cool. But yeah... Don't forget to thumbs up, thumbs up in the chat. Appreciate that. Wow, we're up pretty quick. Not even 10.30 yet. We're up to eight people in the chat. That is very coolness. Uh, Mason Sports Cards. Sports Talk says, hi, TCC, three card collectors. I am getting stuff ready to send you. Oh, you're getting something ready to send to me there, Huber? That is cool. Um... As soon as I get it, I'll share it on the channel and I'll try and send something your way too there, Huber. Make sure you put a note in there and uh, uh, tell me what what's your favorite player or players for you and your brother and uh, your favorite team. And uh, that way I have an idea what to, to send you when I send you something, get you something ready and send you something else. Pretty cool. Appreciate everybody that is here. Oh yeah, by the way, Huber... Huber's Trick Shots, I uh, sent a little message to your dad and you. I was trying to find um, your your, uh, your your Facebook page or whatever it is for uh, Fellowship Baptist Church in Ferndale, Maryland, but I could not find it. I was trying to figure it out. So if you guys can send me a link or send actually send me an email so that I can figure out how to get to your page. Um, that would be cool. I'd really like to check out some of your videos and stuff. That would be pretty neat. So right at 10.30 here, we will get started in just a minute or two here. And then afterwards, I have a family mail call package from uh, hashtag Colorado Car Crew Hess. All right, so I will be opening this after we go through our baseball card set. And then, of course, lastly, we will be opening up this uh, Gypsy Queen Blaster Box. See what kind of cards we can pull out of this one. I am frantically starting to work on my sale for next, not this Saturday, but next Saturday. It does take a while. So in case anybody is wondering, the cards that I did uh, not sell in my last sale are slowly being listed up on my eBay channel. Um, so I am working on those. Um, Chuck says, I started collecting in 1978, but I definitely have an affinity to 1979 cards. Me and my brother kept getting Freddy Paytech cards in every pack. <laughs> that sounds familiar. Different players, different people get different players and it seems like they get an overabundance of them. So yeah, we'll be doing this to end up our stream today. But it is 1030 and we are going to get ready to go into... Um, this uh, in the very front of the book here that's what you see laid out here this is the format um, for the you can see how big these cards are a little bit differently than the last book you can see how big it how big the cards are compared to my hand uh, my hand can pretty much cover up one card pretty much <laughs> so that does give you an idea of what's in this set okay so without further ado, I'm going to just go ahead and turn through the pages here in this 1986 little update. We did do the, the uh, Tops uh, 1985 
uh, update, but we will be reading through the um, 19, uh, yeah, uh, Fellowship Baptist Church of Ferndale, Maryland. There, that, there was my note. So, in usual fashion, usually they do a recap of the prior season. And then, uh, right on the bottom here, we will go over the uh, some information about the 1986 baseball, baseball card set, okay? So, I will keep an eye on the chat as much as I can, kind of like Cedric Mullins last year said Chuck Debris. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and go into and highlight the 1985 season, and then we will go into the 1986 card set and how they are laid out, okay? So summing up the 1985 baseball season, you begin with the opening line from hundreds of jokes. I've got good news and bad news. The bad news was found in headlines from Pittsburgh, where a trial in the United States District Court showed that some of the top stars of the game were concerned and involved, while with white lines other than the ones that separate fair and foul territory on a ball field. Cocaine use, which had already been recognized as a problem, was no longer an isolated instance or two, nor was it something talked about in whispers. It was a real danger to the reputation of the game and had a star-studded cast, and it was featured on one page on page one and the network news. The year would end with baseball not having acted in disciplining the players involved. A different kind of image problem manifested itself in baseball's second player strike in five years. This one lasted only two days, meaning that some players who went home found themselves making a 6,000 mile U-turn. The more serious aspect was the reaction of the fans. Polls indicated the public was having trouble sympathizing with a group of strikers who, according to their own association, had an average salary of over $370,000 a year. But there was, as promised, good news too. There were exciting divisional races in both leagues, with three of the four being decided on the next to last day of the regular season. Whatever the public's personal act reaction to cocaine headlines and unsupported strikes, the turnstile clicked more frequently than ever before. Not only did seven major league clubs set new attendance records, but the combined attendance of the two leagues, nearly 47 million, also was a new high. In addition to the exciting races, the fans were turned on by a lot of outstanding individual performances. On August 4th, miles apart, two veteran stars reached different milestones. In New York, where he pitched for so many years, White Sox pitcher Tom Seaver racked up the 300th victory of his career, and in Anaheim, Rod Carew of the Angels got his 3,000th major league hit against the team he had played for with most of his career, the Minnesota Twins. On the last day of the season, Phil Necro of the Yankees became the oldest pitcher in history to ever pitch a shutout when he beat Toronto 8 to nothing for his 300th lifetime victory. In July, Houston pitcher Nolan Ryan, who had started his major league career with the New York Mets, struck out Danny Heap of the Mets and became the first big league pitcher ever to register 4,000 strikeouts. But the record breaker of the year took place on September 11th. On that date in 1928, Ty Cobb played his last major league game. 57 years later, to the day, Pete Rose retired Cobb's record for hits in a career when he singled off San Diego's Eric Show for his 4,192nd lifetime hit. While the 44-year-old Rose and the 46-year-old Negro were giving the lie to the baseball cliché that says, 
it's a young man's game. The youngsters did make their presence felt. None more than Mets right-hander Dwight Gooden. At 20, Gooden won the triple crown of pitching, leading the leg in ERA, victories, and strikeouts. His 24 victories made him the youngest 20-game winner of this century. And he won the National League Cy Young Award. An older man won in the American League. Kansas City's Brett Saberhagen was 21. The closeness of the per- pennant race carried over into postseason play in the American League Championship Series. Toronto won the first two games, but Kansas City won the series. This was the first year that these playoffs were lengthened to the best four out of seven in the National League. The Dodgers won the first two, but the Cardinals came back to win it. Then the first All-Missouri World Series. The Cardinals won three of their first four, but the championship went to Kansas City who won the seventh game 11 to nothing. Toronto manager Bobby Cox, whose team won the American Lake East race and who was named manager of the year by both baseball writers and the other managers in his leg, quit to take over the general manager in Atlanta. But there was evidence that the cliche, managers are hired to be fired, still stood up. Six managers were fired during the season and five more were replaced after it was over. The only thing that seems to change about the All-Star game is where it's played. This year, it was in Minnesota, but the National League won again. And twenty and their 21st victory in the last 23 games. A report on one more cliche, the game is never over until the last man is out. In a game in Chicago in September, Montreal led the Cubs 15-2 to in the fifth inning, and they won the game, but the final score was 17-15, to and it ended with the Cubs having a man on second and the tying run at the plate. Don Mattingly of the Yankees and Willie McGee of the Cardinals were the league's respective most valuable players. McGee and Wade Boggs of the Red Sox were the top hitters. Hoyt Wilhelm, Lou Brock, Eno Slaughter, and Archie Vaughn were inducted into the Hall of Fame. Burley Grimes, a Hall of Famer since 1964, and baseball's last legal spitball pitcher, died at 92. And Roger Maris, holder of the single-season record for home runs, succumbed to cancer at the age of 51. So the 1986 baseball card history. The 1986 cards have two technical errors. So this one's for Kevin out there. Pay attention to the details in this set. Bill Duran and Bobby Wine are both numbered 57. Bobby Wine should be 51. And Chuck Cotier and Bob Rogers are both numbered 141. Bob Rogers should be 171. Special features included in this set are the Pete Rose years, uh, cards and five turn back the clock cards 26 dean cards and 26 manager cards and seven 1985 record breaker cards and 22 american league national league all-star cards so that is the highlight for the cards in the 1986 cent set So I'm going to be passing a few pages because we did the 1985 traded card set last week. Deerman's in the house. How you doing here, Deerman? All right. What's Deerman saying in here? Hi, Hubers. Sorry if I'm not playing Call of Duty. (laughs) Uh, Deerman K. Okay. Doesn't Bobby Cox hold the record for you, Jacksons? Uh, It would not surprise me. (laughs) Okay, so we're going to um, get over here. I'm going to uh, take my separator out here. That was so I knew where to to go to get to the 1986 set here. I'm going to disembark my, uh, my phone from the tripod here just to make it easier to go through and highlight the cards in this set. So without further ado, this is Kevin's moment. He's been looking forward to this for quite some time now. 
uh, at David M. Would you be willing to send me an email with your channel link? Um, there are a million David M's in my search result. I want to join your bus. <laughs> okay. So without further ado, we're going to get into our 1986 baseball card set. And because of the size of these cards, I'm going to go just a little bit, bit different angle. If you remember on the other ones, there were about five cards in the last book. Well, there's three cards on each row. So there's nine cards on a page. Okay, so I'll just kind of pan down the page, turn the page. Pretty much this whole book is basically, for the most part, the 1986 baseball card set. And just to give you an eye on the size of the cards, they are our life size. I put a regular baseball card right here. You can see this one right here, covering up this Pete Rose card here. And they, they, they are basically life size cards just in case you're wondering, for size-wise. Um, I know there, Dearman. Uh, it was kind of confusing, some of your emails you were sending me, so I was trying to figure things out. I will... Um, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send that to you probably after the stream here. I'm going to go and look at that and make sure I do have the email. And then I will send you that money for those three rookie card medallion cards, okay? As promised, I said I would send you the, the, the $20. That'll be for the three cards and shipping, okay? So I'll send that out a little bit later here today. I, just, I was hoping you would jump in the stream so I could just make sure that's what you wanted me to do, okay? Um, do you... Um, Let's see, Donald, do you collect the rookie card medallions? If so, uh, what do you need? Um, tell you what there, Mason, if you're still here, uh, check in with me after we're done going through the history here, and I'll go over my checklist with you, okay? All right. I'll go ahead and do that. I'll go over the checklist and tell you which ones I do have left that I'm looking for. Okay, so here we go, the 1986 baseball cards for the 1986 set. Um, sounds good. I have two. Okay, either that or if you want, you can just type the names of the two and I can tell you real quick if I have them or not, okay? I can do that real quick there, Mason Sports Cards. Thanks, I appreciate that very much. Okay. So other than that, I'm going to just go ahead and pan through the page this way, three cards at a time. That way you can see that these are the Pete Rose um, cards. Pretty much they did it for uh, every year. You can see 63, 64, 65, 66. So it goes through all his cards through um, the 1985 set. And these three right here. And then we get into the basic ones. You can see up to last year's. For 1985 the Pete Rose that we did two weeks ago because this last week we did the 85 update cards which are these ones right over here okay so Dwayne Murphy and Roy Smith so it, I will be turning the pages quite a bit here because remember there's only nine but Kevin will like this one card number 10 Tony Gwynn there's Kevin's favorite PC there Tony Gwynn all right, so this is kind of easy. There's Seattle Mariners, Bob Kearney. All right, so we'll just kind of go through these. It should be a smooth, but it, it is a lot of pages to turn. But we will get these. I'll just kind of pan through them real quick. Hubert, he's a very famous and great guy. Okay, so I will not spend a lot of time on these, but we will go through and highlight all the cards in this set in usual fashion. And then we will be doing things slightly differently when we get into, not next week, but the week after when we get to the 1987 tops. So I, I, I have made the determination that I am going to continue this series. 
um, all the way up to the present. Of course, we might not get to 2020 until next year, but then we will be up to date, and then I'll be coming up with a new series, probably a different baseball card company, to keep the baseball card set theme going for this video series. Okay? Pretty much, I will try to keep track in the chat here as we go along, unless it locks up. It's you, isn't it? Okay. Tom Niedenfuhrer. Niedenfuhrer. I always liked when I saw his name before. Niedenfuhrer. All right, there we go. Carl Best and Bob Boone. Carl Best for the Seattle Mariners. All right, here comes another. Oh, there we go. A Cardinals. Oh, I kind of like the design, the way they did the Cardinal, the, the leaders cards. You can see that one right there. Then we've got Carmelo Martinez with the Padres right there. Dave Winfield with the Yankees. Like I said, pretty much there, Daryl Strawberry with the New York Mets. All right. Chippy Martinez. I'll just shout out some of the ones that I'm more familiar with. Tony Perez. Randy St. Clair. Um, 1986 was the year when I got married. November 30th, 1986. Is there any specific need for your collection I can send you? Oh, nothing in... Oh, that 86 Gwen was the card he signed for me when I was a kid. I love that card. Oh, that's cool, Kevin. I thought that was maybe the one. I remember you when you talked about that and showed that card on your channel. Nolan Ryan with the Houston Astros. There we go, Jerry Royster with the Padres, Barry Bonnell with the Mariners, there we go, Steve Carlton, I remember when he was pitching for the Philadelphia Phillies, Steve Carlton. There we go, Mets leaders card, I like that, they give you an action shot pretty much there for the leaders cards, all right, John Wathen. Oh, there we go. There's our first checklist card. Our first checklist card. All right. Oh, there we go. Chuck Cottier with the Seattle Mariners. Doug Sisk, Pedro Guerrero with the Dodgers, Brett Butler with the Indians, Mike Morgan with the Seattle Mariners. Okay. Oh, Chicago White Sox leaders. Earl Hershiser with the Dodgers. Okay, 
Okay, let me take a quick pause here real quick and look in the Hubert Trick Shots. I was born in 2006. That's pretty cool there, Hubert. Uh, let's see, Robert Hall. Hello, guys. Just got back from the garage and my stationary bike. Boy, am I tired. Calvin, good morning. <laughs> Gary Carter with the New York Mets. <laughs> Guys, you are making me feel old. I was a teenager in 1986. Well, like like I said again there, I was 20 years old when I got married in 1986. There you go, Chuck. Gives you an idea. I, I think you probably know how old I am, probably. You've been on my channel long enough. There we go, Chasing Donnie Baseball. Don Mattingly. Good morning, Sir Robert of Indianshire. <laughs> Houston Astros leaders there. And then Raleigh Fingers in the middle there. Raleigh Fingers in the middle. All right. Now we got there. Our, our record breaker cards coming up. Sorry about that. My cord got hung up on the buck, but I kind of leave it plugged in for a reason, so I keep the charge on it. Dave Concepcion with the Reds. All right, here we got coming up here. There's another uh, Mike Schmidt, Philadelphia Phillies pitcher when he was batting. He was a pretty good batter in the day too as a pitcher. So the record breaker cards for Vince Coleman, uh, Dwight Gooden, Keith Hernandez, Phil Negro, Tony Perez, Pete Rose, and Fernando Valenzuela. All right, Randy Reedy with the Brewers. All right, boom, there we go. Dave Henderson with the Seattle Mariners at Lee Hammaker with the Giants. Right. Where's my Cal Ripken Jr. hiding? His rookie year was 1982. Rick Roden. Butch Weiniger with the Yankees. Larry Parrish with the Rangers. Tommy John with the Oakland A's. There we go. Philadelphia Phillies leaders card. Spike Owen with the Seattle Mariners. Dwight Gooden with the New York Mets. Ozzy Guillen with the White Sox. Tony Pena with the Pirates and Bobby Valentine with the Rangers. All right, there's our second checklist card. Mario Ramirez with the San Diego Padres. Shout out to Kevin's card collecting and more. Paul Molitor with the Brewers. I like that one. Dane Eorg. With the Royals. All right. Uh, Yankees leaders card. There we go. Six Doles Cano with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Shout out to Eric and John Jabs. Tim Raines with the Montreal Expos. Carlton Fisk with the Chicago White Sox and Tom Lasorda with the Dodgers. All 
right. Okay. George Brett with the Royals. Phil Bradley with the Seattle Mariners and the San Diego Padres leaders card. I'm trying to remember back in the day what the back of the I think the lead the the team the team leader cards I think gave the stats for the different leaders for the baseball team. I could be wrong. Kevin could probably correct me on that one. Jim Rice with the Red Sox. There we go. Juan Benitez with the California Angels. Kent Tecolve with the Philadelphia Phillies. Shout out to Dearman 2019. Kirby Puckett with the Minnesota Twins. Alan Ashby with the Astros. Don Sutton with the Angels and the Cleveland Indians leaders card. D Dar Darnell Coles with the Seattle Mariners. There we go, Cal Ripken Jr. with the Baltimore Orioles. Woo! That's ring. I should ring the bell for that one, but not in this type of set. That's a hit for me. <laughs> All right, Brian Little. All right. Seattle Mariners, Ed Vandenberg. Vandenberg, not Vanden, Vandenberg. Lee Smith with the Cubs. Lloyd Mosby with the Blue Jays there. Sorry, I passed him by pretty quick. Saw his name at the last second. Cincinnati Reds leader card. All right. Ben Ogilvy with the Brewers. Joe Carter with the Indians. Bruce Bochy with the A's. There you go. Lamar Hoyt with the San Diego Padres. Kevin's card collecting. Ivan Calderon with the Seattle Mariners. All right. Um... Okay, as long as you just do it once. I saw your email come in just a second ago there, okay? Um, as long as you just say it once, you're good, Caleb. That's fine. I think it was probably YouTube that kind of flagged that one there. Okay? But that's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll allow that one because I know you'll probably be responsible like I've been talking to you about that. And boom, you can put it up there once. I just don't like when people re keep repeating the same thing. Especially when people are like in sales and stuff and saying, I can't buy, but I like that card. I like that card. It's like you're trying to get a free gift from somebody. And Dearman, you got another year. You just had your birthday. So happy birthday, by the way, buddy. There's a third checklist card there. And a Red Sox leader. I be there, free card. Free card or three card? <laughs> All right. Bill Swift. And here comes some turn back the clock cards. Going to have some old players in here now. There we go. Fernando Valenzuela. All right. Tom Seaver with the New York Mets. 
Um, Willie Mays. And it kind of tells you their year for their card on the bottom. And then Frank Robinson and Roger Maris. Pretty sure they... Oh, I guess that was the few turning back to clock cards that were there. Sparky Anderson with the Tigers. That's a manager card. Sorry. My cord got hung up again. Denny Martinez with the Baltimore Orioles. Frank Wills with the Seattle Mooners. All right. Getting close. We're up into the 400s now. Brewers leader card. Seattle Mariners, Alvin Davis. Right. Bill Buckner with the Red Sox. Alex Trevino with the Giants. Burt Blylevin with the Twins. Right. Craig Nettles with the Padres down there. Sorry about that. Went by there too quick for Kevin. Right there, um, we got eleven people in the stream here, and only eight thumbs up. Don't forget my thumbs up, people. Thumbs up, thummies up, thummies up for me, as uh, coffee and jam with Chris would always say. Thummies up. I got money from my aunt for card sale this weekend. Well, and then hopefully you might have a little bit more there, uh, Dearman, when I send the money to you for those rookie medallion cards. All right. So I will be sending that off as soon as we end our stream today. Okay, buddy? Just so you are aware of that. Okay. Um, see, uh, Domingo Ramos for the Seattle Mariners. Um, what book is this? Um, it was the same one I've been using for the, the complete series. I'll show you the cover when I'm done uh, going through the set here. Um, and then I will be using this one more for one more short video um, next week. And then it should be the first week in May. We'll be going on to the 1987 baseball card set. But yeah, I'll show you the front of the book so you, in case you're wondering. It's a, a secondary book to the 35 years of Topps baseball cards. In case you're wondering there, uh, Ken's Cardboard. All right. There we go. Andy Hawkins with this. San Diego Padres. Ought to be McDowell with the Rangers. Getting close to... There's that. California Angels League leaders. Brett Saberhagen with the Royals. Jim Wynn with the Pirates. Shout out to Eric and John Jabs. Okay. Jay Johnstone with the Dodgers. Bob Gibson with the Brewers. Ricky Henderson with the Yankees. And Dave Johnson with the Mets. All right. Wade Boggs with the Red Sox. Ed Nunez with the Seattle Mariners. All right. All right. Dun, dun, 
There you go, a checklist. I think that's our I think that's our fourth checklist. San Diego Padres, Goose Gossage, Rich Gossage. Nice cool card there of Goose. All right. Yeah, probably is Alvin Davis in 1986 at Probably would have been Dennis Eckersley there with the Chicago Cubbies. There we go. Uh, Seattle Mariners leader there. Okay. Tim Stoddard with the San Diego Padres. Shout out to Kevin's Car Collecting. All right. Rusty Staub with the Mets. Exposed team leader card. Willie McGee with the Cardinals. All right. Thanks, Kevin. Appreciate you doing that for him. Again, if you guys can help me out if you're not on my bus and you want to. Yeah, Dustin, I've, I've said the same thing. We're slowly working on Dearman so he gets used to how... Kind of like with Caleb, it took a little while to, to get uh, Caleb on the right track and stuff. And we're working on Dearman too. But just bear with him, okay? We got to take care of the young ones in our channels too, okay? They enjoy coming into our streams, but they got to just, uh, eventually down the road, they will learn some etiquette and how to properly um, act, act and respond in the channels. But all we can do is keep, keep the faith up and keep uh, trying to help them out along the way, okay? Dearman's slowly working on trying to become more responsible so it, it it'll come in time it'll come in time okay you just got to keep working with them and tell them how to act in the channel and do it the right way we all like trading and interacting with each other but like i've said since i started my channel it's not all about getting free stuff okay so Okay, it looks like my phone finally froze up because the chat is not moving. But that's okay. That means I just got to look up at the computer a little bit more often now. We're getting close, closer to ending it, this set at least. Uh, Mesa, I have that Gidry. $70. Okay, I have that Gidry. Oh, that's good wow. there, Dearman. You got some good uh, birthday money. You'll be able to buy some. Just don't go overboard and go crazy and spend it all in one spot, okay? Just kind of stretch it out, and you'll be doing a lot better, okay, buddy? But you said you had no money last week. Well, he just got a bunch. I'll let you and Dearman work that out, okay? Let's not argue and bicker in the channel, guys. Remember what I've said on my channel about um, doing the right thing, okay? Sorry. Trying to tone down the chat there between three card collectors and and Dearman. You guys can do that kind of offline. Uh, 
and not in the chat, okay? I'll just put it out one last time. Dearman just had a birthday and he probably got some money for his birthday. Maybe that's what he wanted so that he could go and buy some baseball cards in the sales. So I will leave it at that. And three card collectors and Dearman, you guys can work things out off chat, okay? I know you guys uh, communicate with each other and I, th I think you guys play games together online. So keep that in mind, okay? But Okay, guys? Seattle Mariners, Mike Moore. All right. Let me finish off this set here, and then we can move on to the next section of our video for today. All right. <laughs> yes, Uncle Donald. All right. You can be nice about the chat there, Dearman. I, I wasn't really scolding you. Just trying to help teach you some etiquette in the channel, okay? It's about doing the right thing, okay? And now that you're a teenager, you need to become a responsible young teenager. Which I know will come in time. closer here there you go Seattle Mariners Matt Young San Diego Padres manager Dick Williams I remember Dick Williams back in the day when I went to watch the, the Padre games I was there from 82 to 80 to 86 yeah, I was there summer 86 when he was the manager. That's when I moved up to Washington. When me and my wife got married, we came up here to Washington State. That's cool there, three guards. All right. Getting closer here to the all-star game, all-star cards to get ready to, to round up the set here. Dodgers leaders. Pat Corrales with the Indians. And Reggie Jackson, card number 700. Then we've got Keith Hernandez, National League All-Star. Tom Herr, National League All-Star. And we've got Tim Wallace, Ozzy Smith, and Dale Murphy. Pedro Guerrero, Willie McGee, and Gary Carter. Dwight Gooden, John Tudor, and Jeff Reardon. There we go. Now we got now we're on to the American leg. Don Mattingly, Damasco Garcia, George Brett. Cal Ripken Jr., Ricky Henderson, Dave Winfield, Jorge Bell, Carlton Fisk, Brett Saberhagen, Ron Guidry, and Dan Quisenberry. There's the Orioles team leader card. And Jim Beatty with the Seattle Mariners. Getting close. I think this is a 792 card set. From what I remember. Kevin would know for sure how many cards are probably in this set. Um, Dave Dravecki with the San Diego Padres. Pete Bukovic with the Brewers. There we go. Pete Rose with the Cincinnati Reds. Denny Gonzalez with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Shout out to Eric and John Jabs. Gorman Thomas with the Seattle Mariners.
Harold Baines with the White Sox and the Pittsburgh Pirates leaders card. There we go, Eric Show with the San Diego Padres. There we go, Kevin Gross. There you go, Kevin. It's one of your with the Philadelphia Phillies. All right, just messing with Kevin a little bit. That was kind of on the corny side, but. <laughs> All right, Vita Blue with the Giants. Getting closer here. Got probably one more page after this one here. Joe Nolan with the Baltimore Orioles. And our last page. Alan Bannister, 784. Bob Stanley, 785. The Minnesota Twins leader, 786. 787 is Phil Negro. Um, the checklist the final checklist and Philadelphia Phillies Charles Hudson all right give you a sneak peek preview for next week's final stream out of this book here will be a small subset of major league all-stars from 1951 major league all-stars from 1951 so let me go ahead and put my Phone off to the side here while I move this book out of the way. Let's see, who was it again that asked what this book is? I'm going to show you real quick the cover of the book before we move on. So this is the cover of the book. In case you were wondering, it's the update, the 1986 collection for the Topps baseball cards with a special feature the 1951 Major League All-Star Cards. And we will be highlighting that set next week. Okay? So, um, I have two complete sets. You got the 2017 for Christmas a few years ago, and I put the 2018 high number together by hand. That is pretty cool. All right. So let me move this out of the way real quick. And we will get ready to, let me uh, reseat my, let me put this on the table here. We're going to do a family mail call package here real quick. Um, let's see. I'm trying to remember who was asking me about my rookie card medallions that I need. Are they still in the chat here? Um... Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I was not talking to you in any way there, Huber Trickshots. You are one well-behaved individual. Okay? So all I have to do is have you hang with me, and before you know it, you'll be part of the Blue Wrench Club. Okay there, Huber Trickshots? You are an awesome, awesomely responsible uh, young person on on my channel here. I really do appreciate your, you there, Huber. Huber's Trick Shots. Um, Mason Talk Show, that was me, Donald. Oh, okay. Um, let me go through um, to the best of my not. Sorry about that slight bell dinger there. Um, so the rookie medallions I am currently looking for um, is Mike Trout, um, Chris Bryant, uh, Bo Jackson, um, Chipper Jones, I don't, uh, I put a little X in them when I know they're on the way, but until I actually have them in hand, um, I am still looking for a Tony Gwynn and a, uh, I think somebody this morning might be giving me a Jose Canseco, but it's still on my to be collected list until I know for sure. I haven't got a confirmation back on them yet. 
and then um, Ricky Henderson. So those are the ones that I do need right now. Um, Hubers, have you ever checked out Ethan's auctions? Um, yes, I have got a bunch of rookie card, rookie medallion cards from Ethan, but I think he's about done with uh, working on trying to collect more cards from the blaster boxes. Um, remember, you can only find the rookie medallion cards in the the Tops 2020 blaster boxes. So that are those are the rookie cards on my list here. And then once I do have a complete list, um, probably uh, as we get closer here to uh, right. Oh yeah, I know about that, German. All right. So, uh, so that is the current list, pretty much of the ones that I am looking for. Okay. But for starters here, before we get into the Gypsy Queen, I'm going to open up this this mail, family mail call package from, uh, you can see it right on the top here. In the description of this video too, I've given a link to Colorado Card Crew Hess. And I think it's hashtag Colorado Card Crew Hess. All right. But um, I, I put a link in the description of this video so you know where this package came from. And I will do that. As long as I know what your your YouTube channel is for sure when I do receive it. So it's good sometimes if you put a note in the package. I don't know. There might be a note in the package here. I don't really know for sure. <coughs> Let me get a drink of water real quick here. What do I need? Who are you who are you talking to there? Robert? And the number number one I'm sending you. Oh well, those are kind of separate. I kept keep them in a separate PC there, German. But thanks. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this open this way because it's taped up pretty good. I think I have a good idea what Colorado uh, card crew sent me. It's in here. Uh, we had been in email contact with each other. I do like he did used blue tape. All right, we do have nothing in here. I think these are just primarily some insert cards from T Tops 2020. I don't think it's anything earth shattering per se, but I do like when people use the blue tape. The blue tape is awesome, especially when it's done right like this here. That means. I've got a lot of extra blue tape here I can use for for different things and all this blue tape is definitely uh, reusable that's for sure uh, that's one thing about blue tape if you if you take care of it you can reuse it for your next project or mailing which I think is good sometimes sometimes bubble wrap old older bubble wrap plastic does uh, stick to it but overall, I can put this all on the side here and cut it into small pieces as I need it for other things. Um, I think one of these days I should just do a, a YouTube stream showing you how to package product without uh, using too much blue tape because blue tape can get kind of pricey after a while. Let's see, I think this one... I know some people just go, just rip it open and get it done quick. Sorry, when you're retired like me and you're on a budget, you want to pinch pennies wherever you can. And it, this is an awesome way to pinch pennies by saving and reusing your blue tape. So yeah, that's why I'm doing it this way. All this blue tape can be reused. <laughs> uh, okay there, three cards. Thanks for popping into the stream here. We will see you around the channels, okay, buddy? Oh, my word. Oh, and then, well, sometimes when you put it on plastic and, or paper and stuff, it does not turn out all that good, but some of this can still be reused. There. So all that is kind of there for now. That's one way of getting free packaging material using your priority boxes. Don't let the post office get you doing this. 
that defeats the purpose of them providing free products for you. All right, we got a Chris Bryant here. I think maybe that's one of the home run challenge cards I'm looking for. So I can use that, reuse that team bag, that's for sure. So let me get my checklists out here for ones that I'm looking for. So for the uh, home run challenge, oh, Vladimir Guerrero. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. That's, that's the big one. That's the one I've been looking for for my Topps Now cards. Now I have a complete set of dun, 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 the Topps Now cards. I did not get the Vladimir Guerrero Jr. yet, and now he, I've got the Vladimir Guerrero Jr. set. So now my Topps Now subset is complete. That is so cool. Thank you there. Uh, I got to get some holders out because I got to bring them out anyway for um, for the gypsy clean box while we do it here. Sorry, I'm reaching for my stands. I had to have them out of the way earlier when I was going through our sets there. But that is cool. I needed that Vladimir Guerrero Jr. for my top snail set. And now the top snail set is complete. Colorado card crew, that was awesome of you sending that to me. Now I have that subset is complete. All right, let's continue through and see what we got here. A home run challenge card. And this one is number eight. That one is another one off my checklist. And then Josh Bell. Josh Bell is number 20. That's another one to check off my list. All right. Josh Bell. All right. Now we've got some, some Decades Best cards. Decades Best. 30, let's see, 17... 39 decades bests. Um, let's see, 17 is now off my list. And 30 is now off my list. And 39 is now off my list. Getting closer on my decades best cards. Cool ones. That is nice little Willie Mays there. Put him up in front for now. All right, and then we've got some decades, decades next cards. The decades next cards: Jesus Lazardo rookie card, and Carter Keyboom. So these are the decades. Oh wait, oh there's oh one of them stuck together. There. Oh Carter Keyboom, Jesus Lazardo, Carter Keyboom, and Nick Senzel. All right, and that is uh, 15, 28, and 29 for the decades now. Um, 15, I can mark that off my list. And then 28 and 29, knock those two off my list. This is awesome, guys. I'm getting closer to some of my other sets now. All right, who do I want to put on the front here? Um, how about Jesus Lazardo there? All right. Um, who is your favorite non-Mariner current player? Oh, cur current player? Um, I don't really particular, I mean, uh, any Seattle Mariners, but my two favorite Hall of Famers are Ken Griffey Jr. and, of course, Cal Ripken Jr., um, I don't have so much as any particular current player. Um, just, just kind of so you know there, Hubert Tricks, uh, uh, Mason, uh, Mason current player. Oh, okay, now you're talking to, to him. Oh my word, Babe Ruth. 
Got a Babe Ruth subset card and a Shohei Otani. These are both the Topps Choice cards. Topps Choice. And I think I needed both of these. Yep. Card number four and card number 24. Four and 24 are now checked off of my checklist. That was so awesome there. So, thank you very much. Colorado Card Crew Hess comes through in a pinch. All right. That is pretty awesome there that he sent these cards. No notes, no nothing. As far as uh, what he wants. Donald, are you collecting only non-scratched off home run challenge cards? Um, yeah, that would be preferred. Because sometimes once they've been scratched off, they've been used. Not that I plan on you. Well, I mean, I, I'll probably my extra ones, once I do complete my set, um, I will probably be uh, probably putting them in my sale. And then after that, I will be... Uh, uh, by the way, a lot of my cards in my upcoming sale will be insert cards from 2020 Tops. Just so you do know, but I will have some older vintage stuff also that I'm working on. So, uh, yeah, the, as far as the ones I'd like would be the non-scratched off ones. Because uh, sometimes they're worth more when they haven't been scratched off. That kind of keeps them in uh, a newer condition. So that's kind of pretty much how I do it. Oh, because I have a few used ones. <laughs> well, I understand. People like to use them to actually enter the contest to see if... But, I mean, kind of the way this year's going and stuff, I don't know if they're going to have much of a season, if any, that's noteworthy, per se. But we will still have the cards in collections. So that is pretty much the, the, the good part there. So let me just uh, set these off kind of in order here, the way I do them. Um, I'm going to take this out of the top loader for now. Oh, come on, really? Oh, okay, there we go. I'm just going to take that out of the top loader for now. Just for my own personal preference for now. And then this, would, this Guerrero would go this way. The way I load them in my top loaders. So that way when I'm looking for cards, I can look in the front. So TC... TN, then we've got our de decades next. I'll just have to straighten these all later. DNs, then the DBs, decades best cards, and then the uh, home run challenge, the HRCs. So I'm just putting them in order. So when I put them in my sort box, they're kind of in order already. So thanks there, Col Colorado. Card Crew S. Really do appreciate that. Really do appreciate that. Uh, yeah, I did. Uh, I'm a tops uh, a tops dot com member. So yeah, I did. Uh, we'll see what happens. I did uh, reach out to them, but they didn't haven't contacted me yet in regards to that uh, extra autograph. So um, from the uh, Gypsy Queen. So we will see what happens there. Hopefully they'll send me something, and if so, if when I get it in the mail, I'll I'll show it to the channel. All right. Uh, most likely they will replace it because I'll I I gave them a reference and the link to my video when I opened up the product, so they'll see that there was nothing sneaky with it. I had everything in front of the camera when I opened it up. Um, Huber's. I'm going to send you a Ryan Ripken auto. Oh, that is awesome. A Ryan Ripken autograph. That is so cool there, Huber Trick Shots. I really do appreciate that. That is totally awesome. Well, guess what, guys? We're going to open this box up here next. This will be our, our box open, our blaster box opening for today. So um, we're going to get ready to open up this Gypsy Clean product here get it punched out for today 
And then probably after that, I do got an errand to run today to make our church's bank deposit. And then, uh, Don, did you complete the 2020 baseball series one tin collection? Um, yes, I did. I have all six. Um, I had more than that, but I do have a complete set that has not been opened yet. If you can kind of catch what I'm doing there. Um, I do have a complete set of boxes of the tins, but I haven't opened them yet. I'm kind of saving it for, we might do something later special down the road and see what kind of cards we get in those. Or I might just uh, work on putting them into one of my sales. I don't know for sure. We'll see. But yeah, I, I, have, all, I have all six of the 2020 Series 1 tins in my in my collection at this time i'll say it that way how's that sound um me too oh you've got a whole complete set unopened there robert that is pretty cool you know i'm gonna hold on to them for a while because down the road uh you know things can be collectible but it's just nice to to see the sets and uh but we're gonna go ahead and open up this box here see if i can find another one of those elusive uh um bazooka cards for for ethan i got two so far i think he don't have them yet but when i'm done searching i think i've got one more gypsy queen blaster box after this and then i might be done with the the gypsy queens for now um i didn't really plan on trying to collect most of these anyway uh i'm basically i like the tops uh base collection uh the more types of different products you get into can get definitely very pricey so this is what i'm going to open up next to go ahead and end things off for today of course we it says we can get to, uh, 47 total cards per box All right it does say we get uh six cards per pack so we have uh seven packs plus one bonus five card pack of exclusive parallel cards so we'll see what we can get out of this blaster box so without further ado so we can finish up the stream here i'm going to commence to ripping uh tops has laid off a number of staff it will take a while oh that's yeah that's fine and i understand a matter of fact uh they were shipping me a product and for some reason it got returned because somehow they put the wrong zip code on it yeah my zip code is uh 98223 and somehow the package had a 99223 which put it in spokane washington and they said it couldn't be delivered it so they sent it back to tops but if somebody in the post office would have been paying attention it said 99223 but it did say Arlington, Washington on the package. But as the post office sometimes does, they go by the zip code itself. And they, they returned it. Instead of looking at, oh, this is Arlington, Washington. It's supposed to be 98223. And so they returned it to Tops. So now I'm just waiting for Tops to uh, figure out the mishap and stuff and resend the product out to me considering it was a hundred dollar order um so tops kind of messed that one up because it's on my account everywhere on my account it's nine eight two two three but somehow whoever packaged or whatever computer glitch happened it sent it to nine nine two two three spokane washington and they didn't know what to do with the package i mean if this came and it was like possibly a route there i'd look and say oh it says Arlington, Washington. That's over in western Washington, not eastern Washington. But things like that happen. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into ripping this box open. Pulling these packs out. I'll show you the box is empty. So I'm not hiding anything in their tops. Uh, I guess you're not guaranteed anything out of these per se. I'm going to put this right here in the back. Okay. So we can see. We do got Kevin. Keep an eye on, on the channel here. He's off 
in the distance here, keeping an eye on what's taking place. Here, let me uh, scroll this up a little bit. You can see my stuff in the background here. Just so I kind of know where to hold my hand. So we're going to do the five green parallel cards at the end of the packs. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs, plus the bonus pack, which the bonus pack is nice because it has the par the green parallels. Okay. Um, Kevin stepped away. He said, uh, by earlier, you missed it. Oh, no, that's fine. I'm just letting you know. Kevin, Kevin does the same thing with me. Him and Randy Johnson are keeping an eye on me to make sure I do everything up and up here. He'll be back. I know Kevin's working from home, so he probably had to take a phone call or be in a meeting or something. So we're going to get into these and see if we can find some bazooka backs. Okay. So let's see what we can find in this blaster box. Where is Creepy? Oh, he's right here. You can see him. Where is Creepy No Face Ripken and Rosie Red? Well, Rosie, Wet... <laughs> Rosie Red got filed away. <laughs> Rosy Red got filed away there, Huber. Boom Slang's in the house. How you doing there, Boom Slang? We're up to a dozen people. Give me my thumbs, thummies up, thummies up in the stream. Appreciate that, guys and gals, whoever might be in the stream. But appreciate everybody here. Um, yeah, Gypsy Queen is a nice set. Do, do like it a little bit, but not my big cup of tea. Um... He said family stuff. Oh, no, that's fine. Yeah, I can't expect people to be in here all the time and stuff. But um, there we go. Uh, San Diego Padres for Kevin's card collecting. Rookie card. Bias. Pitcher. For the, for the San Diego Padres. All right. Um, Arizona, look at that. Back to back for Kevin. Arizona Diamondbacks. Pitcher. Uh, Ray. Oh, my word. Bobachet, Bobachet, shortstop for the Toronto Blue Jays, rookie card. All right, uh, Hunter Dozier, third baseman and outfielder for the Kansas City Royals. And um, Detroit Tigers pitcher, Boyd. And first baseman for the Chicago White Sox, is that Jose Barreo? Jose Abreu. All right. So let's see. Any bazooka backs here? No bazooka backs. That's okay. No bazooka backs. So we got two rookies. All right. On to pack number two. Um, Huber Trickshot, when is your next contest? Who are you talking there about? Who are you talking there, Huber? Who is Huber talking to? I don't know for sure on that one. When is your next contest? Somebody in the channel here having contests? Uh, Trey Mancini, outfielder and first baseman for the Baltimore Orioles. All right. Um, Charlie Blackman, outfielder for the Colorado Rockies. Oh, me? Oh, um, since I, I got monetized this year in January, I am having a monthly contest of which I do have uh, entrance so far. Uh, if you're a Patreon member on my channel, you do get an automatic entry into um, the, the monthly contest. And then... Um, so, and each month, the prize will increase. It's kind of like the 12 days of Christmas. Okay, since this is January, February, March, April, number four. So, it's, there's going to be four rookie cards that you're going to get in the contest for this month. Okay, let me finish this pack, and I'll show you what the cards are for the contest this month. This month. Okay, so uh, Charlie Blackman, outfielder for the Colorado Rockies. Okay, since there's only a few cards in each pack, I'm going to put them back here so I can flip them over and check the backs. Um, outfielder for the Milwaukee Brewers, Braun. Oh, my word. King 
Griffey Jr. Outfielder for the Seattle Mariners. That's a hit for me. Yep, and it is card number 318, so it is a short print. All right. Um, New York Mets pitcher, uh, Mats. And Ozzy Albies, second baseman for the Atlanta Braves. Okay, so no rookies in that one. No bazooka backs and no logo swaps on the front and no blank names. Blank names are easy to find because they'll stand out like a sore thumb. Okay, but yes, in case you're wondering, these will be the four uh, rookie cards I'll be sending out. These are the, the top four rookie cards in the uh, 2020 Tops Baseball card set. The Jordan Alvarez rookie card and gold cup card. The Bo Bichette rookie card. The Aristides Aquino rookie card. And the Gavin Lux rookie card. So yeah, these... These four rookie cards are going to be the giveaway for the month of April, which we are closing in on pretty soon here. Let me show you real quick um, who's currently entered into the contest here. In case you're wondering, let me make a switch up here on my... So again, like I've mentioned before in the past, is... Um, there are ways to enter into the contest. Hmm. Maybe they made an update to there. I'll have to uh, check this out. But that's okay. Um, so for now, you can see the list right here. There's kind of spinning on the wheel. Kind of spinning on the wheel. We, and again, there is ways of having multiple entries into the contest, just in case you are wondering. But if you look on the side over here, if you look on the side over here, you can see uh, different people that have already entered the contest for, and you can see them, their names listed on the wheel here. So whenever something or an event happens during, all you have to do is pay attention to the About Me tab. On my page if you're paying attention to the about me tab on the page and read through all the instructions that are on there it tells you how you can enter into the contest okay again I'm not all about free on my channel but there are ways to enter the contest through being a loyal subscriber to the channel um, being a patreon member um, during something, doing something during a live stream, okay, which it's all, it, you'd be surprised how many people don't pay attention to people's About Me tabs. My About Me tab on my, uh, on my YouTube channel is very informative, um, but you would be surprised how many people don't check into an About Me tab on somebody's channel, Okay. So it will explain how you can do that. Um, can a non-Patreon member enter? Oh, yes, there, there, there are ways. And eventually down the road, I might just uh, enter something else into an extra uh, entry process. Okay. But for now, um, I've got how you can enter into the contest listed in there. Okay. Yeah, it's it's in it's talked about in the four thousand watch hour uh, contest rules. Okay, every month I do a new one. So after this month is over, this list will go down. I do have eight Patreon members, so there are eight initial entry entrants in here to uh, the contest, and then different events that take place through the month new names get added sometimes it can happen that day i'll usually take a break and if people are paying attention they'll know why i took a break to give that person uh, a little bit of an update there but yeah so that is how you can enter into my monthly giveaway okay 
So can I have the link to your Patreon? Oh, it's in my it's in my on my homepage. On my homepage, you'll see some icons in the top of the picture. If you look at my homepage, here, let, I'll show you guys real quick for people that are new in the channel and aren't familiar with how it works. Let me go to my channel page here real quick. Okay, I'm going to click over here to my channel, to my homepage. All right, you can see this here. This is the home page to my channel. Um, you can click on the About Me tab. When you open that up, it talks about everything in here. Okay. So you will see that in there. And then also I will give information in my Community tab. Okay. All right, so there are different things that are listed in my community tab, but then also, um, and it does not cost that much to go, ah, must have hit the wrong thing here. Okay, come on. It's waiting to load up something. I must have clicked something wrong. Okay, there we go. So you'll see up here, right here, it says you can buy me a cup of coffee. Here's the link to my Patreon page. Here's a link to my eBay store, Hoopla Dupla, and here's a link to uh, Kevin's Card Collecting and more. In case you're wondering what I'm... So, if you can see real quick here, you'll see my mouse. You can go here for... Uh, you can buy me, a, buy me a coffee. That's kind of like a, a special way to do a super chat without going through YouTube. YouTube. And then you can uh, click on this link. It'll take you to my Patreon page. This will take you to my eBay page. Okay. Where I sell stuff on my eBay website. And then that's just an extra bonus thing. But then this is uh, Kevin's Card Collecting and more. That's his channel right there. Okay. So again, you need to pay attention when you go to people's channels that do a lot more to, with their community. And then uh, you can see the About Me tab here. Okay. You can see the About Me tab. You click on that. It gives you information about the About Me tab here. Okay. It does have my Instagram, my email, my business address down in here. Uh, where you can send uh, my family mail call packages. But if you read through everything in here, it tells you what I do on a daily basis. Um, but yeah, so the random drawings, January one card, February two cards, March three cards, etc. All the way to December, which will be my final big 12 days of Christmas giveaway of 12 different cards that will be given away throughout the year in my single drawings every month. Okay. So I just wanted to highlight that really quick with you right there. And my community tab also gets updated. A caption contest. Okay. But um, so you can go through the different things I have in my community tab also. Okay. And pretty soon I will be adding additional things. I don't like to announce them. I just like to make them randomly. And that's what we will do coming down the pike. Okay. So I'm going to get this back here and get back to breaking open this box and continuing with the process here. Okay. So let me get back to everything in the stream here. Then we'll get into our next pack here. All right. Um. What is my Patreon uh, name for my Patreon page? It is Hall of Fame Veteran Sports Cards. And the Hall of Fame is HOF. Uh, I got to be careful on what I show you here. So let me see if I can get it to switch real quick to show you what my page looks like. Um, but it's just uh, HOF. 
veterans, sports cards, and memorabilia. Okay? And it should bring you, if you click on that link on my about on my homepage, it should bring you right to there. And of course, the smallest level you can join as a Patreon member is uh I believe it's two dollars is the smallest tier. So two dollars a month will will allow you to be in every every level that you sign up for. I will send you something in the mail once a month. So if you're at the two dollar level, you you'll get one Hall of Fame card sent to me or from me to you, along with uh, being eligible to be in my monthly contests. Okay, it's not. A super lot of money. There's some people that do have higher tiers and lower tiers. Some people just want a couple cards a month. Some people want some packs of cards. Some older junk wax packs. But you can go through and see my different tiers if you want to do that. Okay. I don't like to advertise it, but I do have that listed there. Um, cards in my car with our Posada. Added you on Instagram. Yeah, that's fine there. Robert, I don't use it all that much, but I do. I, I have used it in the past for different things. So that's why I, I included that link on there from my Instagram. Um, some people like to use it sometimes. I'm not a big proponent of it, but yeah. So it's a Hall of Fame, Veterans, Sports Cards, and Collectibles. And Sports Cards and Memorabilia. Okay? So... That is, um, currently I have nine Patreons. So it looks like um, I am up to nine Patreons now. But it's not, a, it's just kind of like a monthly subscription type program. But again, the smallest you can do is, uh, uh, hold on, I'm trying to see if I can click on the link without going too far along the way here. Uh, da, 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 da. But yeah, if you if you click on that link on my homepage for my Patreon, it'll bring you right to the page, and you can choose what tier level you want to sign up for. Again, it's anywhere from uh, as low as two dollars all the way up to one hundred dollars a month. And I do give a quite a bit of product if you sign up for the higher tiers. Um, if you watch Kevin's card collecting, he's, he gets a monthly package from me at a higher level and you can just watch his videos and you can make a determine if, if you think it's worth that or not. I know everybody can't do that level, but I just wanted to throw that out there since it was asked on the channel. So without further ado, um, oh, I did, I did hop on there the other day just to, to see because I got an alert showing that he was on Instagram. Um, have you been in Dearman streams? Yeah, I went the other day. I'll just leave it at that. Okay. But um, so yeah. So without further ado, let's get into the next pack here. I believe this is pack number three. So that's my only commercial break there right now. <laughs> let's I'm, we're gonna go ahead and finish. Finish these off here real quick. See what we get in this box. Because it's noon now and I gotta get rolling soon. Alright. So uh Chicago Cubs pitcher Hendricks. So first one, Cattell Marte, outfielder and second baseman for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Um, Oakland Athletics first baseman Olsen. I believe it might be Matt. Oh, there we go. A blue subset, Ahmed Rosario with the New York Mets. I believe that's probably a serialized card. Yes, it is. 79 out of 150. Sorry. Being finicky here. It's not focusing right. Oh, boy. I don't know what's going on here. Let me check my uh, settings here. Okay. It's not wanting to focus right here for some reason. Oh, wait, 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 maybe. 
but it's 79 out of 150. You can tell because it's a blue, a blue. Um, Detroit Tigers pitcher, Agrizel. And third baseman for the L Los Angeles Dodgers, uh, Turner, Justin Turner. So any bazooka backs? No bazooka backs. No logo swap and no no names. Okay. I don't know why that is doing that. Hold on, let me go settings real quick on my. Should have been fine. Let's see. Da, 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 da. I'll put next video. I think I got all my settings on my Streamlabs set up correctly. So I don't know for sure why it's, why it's not showing up clear. All right, see everyone later. All right there, Mason Sports Talk. Thanks for popping into the stream with us today. Looks like we still do have a dozen people here with us. That's pretty cool. All right. Uh, so Jacob DeGrom with the New York Mets. Um, Minnesota Twin shortstop, Paul Uncle. Uh, San Francisco Giants, Davis, rookie card. Ooh, we got us a fortune teller. There we go. A fortune teller. Um, B. Cease, fortune teller. Fortune teller card. Dylan Cease. Okay, I'm going to have to set that right there for now. When we're done with this pack, I'll get a penny sleeve to put that in. Otherwise, it'll fall off my stand. San Francisco Giants. Samard Zija. Okay. And uh, designated hitter and outfielder Reyes with the Cleveland Indians. Okay. No bazooka backs and no logo swaps. Just one fortune teller card here. Let me get that penny sleeved up here so it won't fall off the rack here in the background. It kind of helps it stand up better so it don't tip over. <laughs> All right, pack number five. <laughs> Viewers, behave yourself a little, please. Oh, Lee, Lee, uh, can you another chat stream? Uh, what's Huber saying? Do you own a shop? Oh, do I own a do I own a shop? No, I I sure wish I did, but that's the name of my store I came up with. <laughs> All right, Don Blondall Hall of Fame veteran sports cards and collectibles. This is my shop right here on YouTube and eBay. Uh, brick and mortars can be pretty expensive. Um, down the road, it wouldn't. I, I wouldn't mind doing a store, but it would have to be a small one. It's just a little expensive. Unless you're an established uh, sports card shop, it is really difficult to get going at this point and stage, especially in light of what's taking place right now. So this is my my room up here is my shop. If you had if if you got the guided tour of the whole thing, you'd see what I mean as far as. Uh, what I have here, Donald Wandall. Hey, everyone. Lucky, lucky. How are you doing today, sir? Uh, so Washington Nationals outfielder, Robles. Uh, outfielder for the Chicago White Sox, Mazzara. Albert Pujols with the California Angels designated hitter and first baseman. There we go. Justin Dunn. Rookie card. And pitcher for the Seattle Mariners. I think that's my first Seattle Mariners, except for King Griffey Jr. Justin Dunn. Nico Horner, rookie card, shortstop for the Chicago Cubs. And Juan Soto, outfielder for the Washington Nationals. Oh, that must have been his string on his glove, his, his webbing. So let's see, no, no bazooka backs, 
no logo swap just the uh, just the uh, oops where'd that go did I not grab it all the way out oh nope <laughs> we got the Justin Dunn rookie card we got the Bo Bichette rookie card forgot to penny sleeve that one up earlier sorry all right and let's see here I don't know are we gonna get a fortune teller usually we get at least one fortune teller maybe it's because we got that serialized hit here pack number six um, what's up lucky just fine home from work I think it's pronounced Robles probably is <laughs> good day at work I hope Chuck, how am I being annoying? I think he was. I think. I think he's just teasing with you there, Huber. I don't think he's really being annoying. Uh, we're 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 okay there with Chuck or Chuck. We're okay with Huber trick shots. Just asking questions. That's no problem there. It's just I was kind of confused a little bit too. I don't know for sure what he was really asking. Chuck, how am I being? A, oh yeah, I guess I'm usually too busy to know if everything is going fine. <laughs> All right, D. Arnold, Atlanta Braves catcher. Um, Gary Sanchez with the New York Yankees catcher. Josh Hader with the Milwaukee Brewers. Oh my word. We've got a Gypsy Queen autograph. Out of 150. Whit Merrifield. Boom! Look at that. We get a blaster box and we get an autograph and a serialized card. And it's an autograph. Serialized. 95 out of 150. 95 out of 150. Gypsy Queen Auto. Let me just set these down for a second. I gotta get this one sleeved up here and top loaded that is an awesome autograph good thing I don't collect Kansas City might be coming to a sale near you soon <laughs> okay I'm gonna put that with this blue parallel get that in a penny sleeve and then get this one in a top loader while I'm thinking about it. All right, but that's our big hit so far. Is that one right there? Johan Mancato, third baseman for the Chicago White Sox, and M. Brantley, outfielder for the Houston Astros. All right, and no gypsy queen backs five six 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 cards per pack that's pretty good so yeah boom 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 is it six cards per pack so you got we got an autograph and they didn't shorten our what we get so pack number seven Last chance to get a bazooka back. Oh, I think we got a tarot card here. I think we got a tarot card here. So outfielder for the Toronto Blue Jays, Gritchick. Um, Freddie Freeman, first baseman for the Braves. Um, Miami Marlins pitcher, Duggar, rookie card. Boom! Aces of the Swords, Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge. That is pretty cool. Aces of the Swords, tarot card. Put that one here. I'm going to put that Aaron Judge right behind there for now. All right. Ahmed Rosario, shortstop for the New York Mets. And Washington Nationals pitcher, Corbin. Boom. All right, no, no bazooka vax in this box, but we did get a couple of good cards so far. Now we've got one more pack to go, one more pack to go, and then we can wrap things up here. 
that was pretty cool getting those let's see what we get in our green parallel pack all right let me move ken griffey jr right to the back here for now actually i'm gonna pennies leave this ken griffey jr i gotta put him in my ken griffey jr collection all right and let's go through these five parallel green cards all right, um, second base and outfielder for the Minnesota Twins, Arias. Nelson Cruz with the Minnesota Twins. Look at that, two Minnesota Twins back-to-back. -back. Nelson Cruz, designated hitter. Uh, St. Louis Cardinals, third baseman and outfielder, Edmund. Um, boom, for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Check that out. Zach Gallon, pitcher for the Diamondbacks. Shout out to Kevin's card collecting. And uh, uh, Colorado Rocky shortstop. Is that Brandon Rogers? Brendan Rogers. All right, so no logo swap. Nothing late, great, and breaking there. Just some green parallels. But an awesome rookie card there for Zach Gallon. Zach Gallon, I guess, would have been the hit for the stream here, I guess, for Kevin's card collecting for the green parallel Zach Gallon. Boom. So there we go. Not too bad. A little box there. A couple of cool rookie cards there. Put these off in the, in the distance here with the commons. Right, I think we got all those penny sleeved up. Yep. So we're gonna go ahead and end things up here. Um, show you our hits here real quick. We got uh, Whit Merrifield, uh, second baseman for the Kansas City Royals on card auto. Ninety-five out of one fifty. Ninety-five out of one fifty on the Whit Merrifield, and then we get did get the Ahmed Rosario shortstop for the New York Mets. Short print serialized number. Excuse me, seventy-nine out of one fifty. Two cool cards there with the autograph being the hit on top, and then we did get the the Dylan Cease. Dylan Cease. All right, and then that's the one I wanted to upload our top, our penny sleeve at least. The Aaron Judge fortune teller card, aces of the ace of swords, the ace of swords. All right, and then of course, Ken Griffey Jr. Ken Griff Ken Griffey Jr. was a good hit for me, for my PC, and then of course the green parallels. The Zach Gallon rookie card for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Uh, Colorado Rockies shortstop Rogers. Second base outfielder uh, for the Twins, Arias. And Nelson Cruz for the Twins, designated hitter. And Tommy Edmond. Uh, third base and outfielder for the St. Louis Cardinals. So not a bad box overall. For our Gypsy Clean 2020 baseball. Let me go ahead and turn the camera around real quick so you can see me. Do my signature sign off and finish up for the day. As you can see, I'm wearing my Tops baseball t shirt. And I wear this t shirt generally when I do my uh, Tops baseball cards. This was the, the hat I was using, the throwback Seattle Mariners hat through 1986 which was today so probably next week i'll be wearing a different uh baseball cap for our baseball card series on tuesdays wednesdays what day is today <laughs> it is tuesday no it's wednesday wait a minute no it's wednesday <laughs> so this has been dom blondall hall of fame veteran sports cards and collectibles Having been live to you from 
Arlington, Washington. Um, do you have the 2020 J? Uh, I don't know for sure. What number is that? Uh, what number is that? Uh, dun, 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 Huber trick shots. Huber trick shots. Because I, I have them listed as the numbers on the back of the cards. So if you can give me that number real quick, I can look on my checklist and tell you if I have that home run challenge card. If you want to put it in the chat there real quick, Huber Trick Shots, before I get ready to sign off, I can go ahead and check that real quick. See you later, Donald. Uh, great box. Got to get a shower. See you later, young man. Oh, no problem. Thank you. Uh, here, Number three. Yeah, I do have number three there, Huber. Uh, for the home run challenges, I need one, two, five. Oh, no, one, two, three. No, I do need number three. I do need, I need 1, 2, 3, 5, 10, 11, 12, 19, 21, 23, 25, 26, 27, and 30. I can't remember if there's the home run challenge cards go above 30 or not, but I do need up to 30 at least, unless they go higher than 30. I think it's a 30 card set. So yes, I do need home run challenge card number 3. I just got in four, I believe it was today. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and sign off for, for now. Okay, this is Don Blomdahl Hall of Fame Veteran Sports Cards and Collectibles. Everybody have a wonderful afternoon, a wonderful evening for those that go to church. Please stay safe. Have a good time at church. And I'm going to get ready to sign off for now. So you guys have a wonderful day. We will see you guys tomorrow for our um, baseball team. Going to choose a baseball team to go over next, okay? So you guys have a great and wonderful day, and we will see you guys around the channels, okay? Bye now. Take care. Yes, virtual church. That's right. All right there, Huber. You guys take care and have a safe church service in your virtual churches tonight. Thanks. I still need the link for you guys' church there, Huber. Uh, I tried to convey that to your dad. Maybe you guys can email me the link so I can check out your church services, okay? Bye now. Take care. Have a wonderful day.